eat with it, you communicate with it, you even show your undying affection with it. But did you know that this active part of your body is also filled with more bacteria than you could ever imagine? That's right, folks. I'm talking about your mouth. And today, you're invited to explore a sticky, germ-filled place where bacteria are multiplying by the minute, affecting your mouth and potentially your body, too. We all worry about the amount of bacteria on our hands, but we should also be thinking about what's going on in our mouths. This is the journey of an important invention that changed history. This is Listerine antiseptic, and this is your mouth. Right now, billions of bacteria are multiplying on your tongue, your teeth, your gums. They're everywhere. Imagine everyone living in the world having one big party in your mouth. Luckily, Listerine antiseptic was invented. First formulated by Dr. Joseph Lawrence in 1879, it was originally used as a powerful surgical disinfectant. It wasn't until 1895 when it was sold as an oral antiseptic to dentists. The world went wild. Actually, uh, no, it didn't. It wasn't until the early 1920s when they coined the term halitosis and they told the public that Listerine could fight it. So halitosis, or formerly known as horrible, stinky breath, was born, and sales of Listerine antiseptic, a mouth rinse that fights bad breath, took off. Before we knew it, great oral hygiene was considered sexy. Hey, Mike, wanna try a new mouthwash? Are you kidding? I use Listerine. It's more than a mouthwash. If a shirtless lifeguard doesn't know sexy, then I don't know who does. Hey, listen, Listerine is virtually in a class by itself. So are you, Mike. Mouthwash was now on everybody's lips. But that didn't stop researchers from wanting to know if the formula could do even more. Study after study confirmed that the germ-killing action not only fights bad breath, it could also stop plaque and gingivitis germs in their tracks. <laughs> Yes, sir. On the front line. Above and just below the gum line. Listerine defeats the advancing forces of plaque and crosses enemy lines into gingivitis territory. I'm not sure everyone realizes when you brush and floss alone, you only clean less than half of your mouth. Using a therapeutic mouthwash goes well beyond fresh breath. It also provides a cleaner and healthier mouth. Now, this is getting interesting. The fact is that plaque is not a simple matter, and there is more to be concerned about than meets the eye. We all need to understand the effects of plaque biofilm. Biofilm? That's what I thought. Wait, what's biofilm? When you wake up in the morning and your mouth feels sticky, the bacteria actually has clumped together and multiplied, creating a thick layer called plaque biofilm. When left untouched, this formation can increase your chances of bad breath and gingivitis. Oh yeah, that's not good. The problem is every small space in your mouth provides the perfect environment for the bacteria to thrive and grow, which it can do over the course of just one day. Wait, nobody panic. Using Listerine in the morning and before bed is one of your best weapons. It can kill the bacteria hiding inside your mouth and protect it from germs for up to 24 hours. Hey, scientists, tell us how it works. Listerine antiseptic is made up of four essential oils that penetrate the plaque biofilm to give you the deepest clean. It's that powerful sensation that you feel in your mouth. Only recently has science and new technology enabled us to better understand how our formula can go deeper than we ever imagined. Gotcha. And there's more. Getting the deepest clean is not only important to the health of your mouth, but it may also impact your overall health. That's because your mouth is the gateway between the outside world and the rest of your body. Over 75% of Americans over the age of 35 are afflicted with some form of gum disease. The primary sign of gum disease are bleeding gums or swollen gums. And if you have that, you probably do have gum disease. And who wants that? Gingivitis, if left untreated, may lead to advanced gum disease and possibly broader health problems. And that sounds like trouble. Emerging science suggests that advanced gum disease may be linked to other disorders such as pneumonia, diabetes, and heart disease. You would think oral bacteria remain in the mouth, but that may not be the case. Some studies have found oral bacteria in the arteries of people with heart disease. Coincidence? Maybe not. 
While scientists and medical professionals are still exploring this link, it kind of makes you want to think twice, doesn't it? The bottom line is that brushing, flossing, and rinsing with a therapeutic mouthwash are the best ways of getting rid of the biofilm and so much more. You should find the time to rinse because it only takes a minute a day and it really adds to the health of your mouth. Watch out, world. You now have the power to make a healthy difference and your mouth will thank you for it. We will beat you, germs. Oh, yes, we will.